Hello friends, welcome back to Digitalk. In this video, we are going to discuss about remote diagnostic agent tool, which is also called a RDA tool. So this tool is very helpful when we work with the Oracle support for any kind of issues that we will, we are not able to resolve by our own. Okay, for that time, we open an SR with the Oracle support and then we provide them a lot of data, whatever been asked to us, either the configuration files or or the different parameters that we have configured in our environments. And then when we work with the Oracle support, they ask for the many details. Okay, so to minimize that effort, where we work hands and forth with the support that to provide certain kind of a data tool, uh, there's a tool has been designed by the Oracle and this comes by default with your installations. Okay, so this tool is specifically not only for WebLogic, but all of the products uh, from the Oracle. And apart from that, some more products that is not from Oracle as well. Okay, so you can utilize this tool to uh, to gather the stat of your uh, environment, okay? And then uh, that particular stat, which which you can find in a single zip file that you can share with the Oracle support, okay? And based on analysis of that, they will provide you the solution. And apart from that, this specifically is not only for to provide the details to Oracle, okay? Apart from that, if even if you're working on a support environment and you are working, doing a certain kind of a troubleshooting, then this tool again is important for you and which this will help you in your troubleshooting as well because it takes complete snapshot of your environment along with the configurations and the runtime stat, okay, about your WebLogic server, your operating system, and many more. Okay, and then it represents to you, which you can see in the browser. Okay, so let us begin with to understand the RDA. So what is RDA is Oracle Remote Diagnostic Agent provide a suite of data collection and diagnostic scripts for Oracle products. That means it is bundled with the uh, with the WebLogic and other Fusion middleware products. It is installed along with that one. It is contains certain scripts. That scripts you can run. Okay, and you can collect the information about here environment so rda reports include both system configuration and performance data so whatever the static configuration that you have in an environment with respect to all of your servers and domain along with that at runtime when you are generating this report it it contains certain kind of a performance data of your application as well so rda reports are packed as an archive which you upload and attach to a service request so when you run this rda okay for your product after the finishing of the command it will create a single archive file that you can share with the Oracle on the service request, or maybe you can use it for your own analysis as well. So RDA is installed with Oracle Future middleware, middleware. Okay, and RDA is written in Perl and used as a command line script. So it is a command line script. You have to run certain commands for that one. It is a Perl based tool and you have to be uh, make sure that Perl is installed in your system before running this tool. Okay, and it is by default installed with your Oracle Fusion Mid middleware products, not only to WebLogic. And why use RDA? Oracle strongly encourages the use of remote diagnostic agent for diagnostic collections because it provides a comprehensive picture of the customer environment. So why it is recommended is because when once you run this, it takes the complete snapshot of your domain along with all of the configurations. So whenever you are working with the Oracle support, they will not keep asking you to provide a different kind of a configuration because this single uh, uh, archive file from, from the RDA will generate a single holistic picture of your environment along with which, which will contain the complete configuration. Now, providing RDA diagnostic output, especially when submitting a request online, can minimize the requirement for follow-up questions and they may delay problem solutions, right? So RDA collections are specifically useful when it comes to resolving install and upgrade failures, configuration failures, ambiguous errors, performance issues, so any kind of a problem that you have in your environment, which you are not able to resolve by your own, where you need the support of the uh, from Oracle, or maybe you need a certain kind of a tool to uh, to see a complete holistic picture of your domain, then you can use this tool. There are a lot of products are supported for this one, not only the WebLogic. As I said, there are a lot of products inside the Fusion Oracle Fusion Middleware, okay, OID, OVD, Web Center. There are a lot of products and it comes for the all of the products. That means you can run this tool for all of the product categories. Now, default installation location is your Oracle home and inside Oracle home, you will have a directory with the Oracle underscore common name and inside that you will see a directory with the name RDA and this directory is the installation directory of the default installation directory of your RDA. 
now let me take you a tour on on how to execute this rda report okay so first thing uh first you have to check whether your rda is properly installed or not and for that you have to run the command rda.cmd cmd for window and if it is a linux base then you have a dot sh command rda.cmd or dot sh and then hyphen vc once you will run this command you can see the output of the screen at last it must show you that no issues found that means your rda installation is proper this is my environment where i have one admin server and two managed servers and i'm going to generate the report rda report for this particular environment okay so now let us take a run over you how we can run this uh, particular product and the use product specific profiles now what is profile is that as i said this tool support a lot of middleware products right and inside each every middleware product you have a different kind of a configuration files you have a different kind different kind of a log files right and there are a lot of different applications so profile is specific to a particular product like if i want to generate the rda for web logic there would be a separate profile from for that if you want to generate rda for a web center or for oracle identity management or soa suite there is separate profiles are designed for that one and when you are running the command you have to specify that particular product profile option okay and second first thing that uh, before execution you have to check the version of your uh, RDA tool, what exactly is the version that you can check with the RDA.sh or CMD, then hyphen capital V command. It will return you with the version. So you can see on the screen it is complete as of now, it is 9.3 when I run this command. Okay, but if it is lower than 22.4, which is the current as of today, okay, then you do upgrade this to the latest version. Okay, so how you can upgrade this, I will tell you in in, in the next few slide how you can upgrade uh, the RDA as well if you wanted to run it okay and then as i said that you have a different profile for each and every product these are the list of certain products for which you can run the rda and there is a specific profile for each and every product that i will show you in the next screen how you can identify the different profiles so for that one you have to run the command rda.cmd or sh hyphen capital and then profiles so once you will run this one it will show you the available all the available profiles that means if you are going to run the rda for that particular specific product which is showing on the screen okay there is a corresponding profile for that one so if you take the example of weblogic then there are three profiles for weblogic one is weblogic server and make sure the uh, uh, case of the letters w is capital l is capital and then s is capital okay so there are three default profiles for your uh, weblogic server the first one is weblogic server which is a full that will it will take the complete snapshot of your domain second is weblogic server for log which will take only the logs and third is weblogic server minimum that will it will take the some minimum configurations from your domain for the analysis okay now upgrade rda suppose that if you are running a lower version of rda because when you install the uh, latest version of uh, any product it comes with the rda that was bundled when that product was uh, zipped in and uploaded in for to download that so that could be a longer period and then in between you have a uh, more updates on that particular uh, tool right for that you have to upgrade that tool as well so suppose that you have installed uh, 12214 and then the current version is lower than what is expected so you have to in upgrade the rda for that one the minimum requirement for opatch if i talk about the current version 22.4 uh, the current opatch requirement is 13.9.4.2.5 so opatch is a utility that we use for patching the fusion middleware product along with the web logic okay hope you are aware about that one how we do the patching with the help of opatch so there are two things that you uh, there are two ways to upgrade the rda one is you can use the current spb stack patch bundle uh, process for upgrading the rda if you are not using the spb then there are other, another option for that one for that you have to first upgrade your opatch okay and then you have to download the current rda from the oracle support and then you can upgrade the rda so what is the process to upgrade the rda once you have downloaded the rda go inside the patch folder and then only run the opatch and apply and then hyphen oh and give the oracle home directory okay now if you are uh, uh, executing that as i said that if you're executing your uh, uh, upgrade of rda before that you have to make sure that opatch is also upgraded so this is the command which is showing on the screen to upgrade your rda okay so the as of now the current folder which you are seeing on the screen is 34801809 which is the current patch version of rda so once you have downloaded and extracted go inside that one and run the command opatch and apply then hyphen oh and then your oracle home it will take some time as you can see on the screen uh, and then once it is upgraded you will see that 
the RDA is upgraded to version 23.1. Okay, and in this screen, you can see that if you wanted to upgrade the OPatch version as well, then for that, even you can download the current OPatch from the Oracle support. Okay, and after that, you can run the command Java hyphen jar opatch underscore generic dot jar, which is the part of the patch that you will download, hyphen silent oracle underscore home equal to, you can specify the location of your oracle home. So by this way, you can upgrade the opatch. So once this opatch is upgraded, you can upgrade your RDA with the help of this command. So now your opatch and RDA is upgraded, so you are good to go for the execution of the RDA. So now I will give example of the WebLogic server. So to collect the full collection of the log configurations and beans and all the diagnostic data, that means complete snapshot of your domain, for that run the command rda.sh or .cmd and then hyphen p and WebLogic server. Okay, so this is the command that will take the complete snapshot of your domain. As I said you that there are three profiles. So this is the one, the first profile. Second is if you wanted to uh, collect only the logs to share with the product uh, Oracle support, then you can run the profile weblogic server underscore logs. And if you want to take the only the configuration files for the review by the support team, then you can run the profile weblogic server underscore M I N. Okay, M in caps. Okay, so these are the three profiles. And let me show you the execution of that one. Suppose that we are running the full profile for weblogic server. Okay, so once you will initialize that, once you will start that, it will take some time. Okay, it will analyze, analyze your system and the compute of your uh, uh, of your domain. Okay, the first it will prompt you for the enter the Oracle home to be used for the data analysis. So there could be multiple Oracle home in your system. So first you have to specify the location of your Oracle home, which I have given as C colon slash OPT and WLS 12214, which is my installation directory of the my web logic. Right. And second, it will list you all the domains that you have in your system because there could be multiple domains. So you have to select the domain for which you are going to run this tool. So I have three domains. So I have selected the three option. That means I am going to generate the RDA for third domain. It will list you all the servers those are running inside that particular domain. OK. And after that, you have to uh, give the options if you wanted to generate this diagnostic data for a particular server either for admin server manage server one manage server two or two for the complete domain that means for all of the servers so for all of the servers you can just press enter okay and then it will prompt you if you are using any custom scripts for starting stopping the web logic sometime we use the own our our own scripts for customized scripts for start start for that you have to select an n or y accordingly okay and then it will ask you to enter the password for your web logic admin password Right, and after that, it will take some time to generate the data once it is completed, finished. Okay, so inside the RDA folder, you will see three new contents are generated. One is the output.cfg file, that is the file which will be used by RDA to, to generate the complete configuration of your domain. It is specifically used for RDA purpose only. Second, there is an output folder. Inside output folder, it will gather all the details for the analysis. Okay, so even if, as I said, that if you are not going to upload this doc, uh, to upload this document to SR, that means you are not going to work with the prod support, but you are you need this tool for your own analysis. So for that one, you go to an output folder, and there would be an HTML file that you can run, which I will show you the next screen. Okay, and third one is there would be a zip file. Okay, so as I said, if you are going to work with the uh, Oracle support on that one, then you can upload this particular zip file, okay, to your My Oracle support SR. Okay, so output folder, it will contain the content that is specifically for your review only. And zip file is to upload and share with the support. And this is the output. Okay, once the, it is finished, it will show you the location of the directory. And for analysis, you can uh, uh, use the RDA start.html file that will be generated by inside the output folder. Okay. So if you wanted to do your own analysis of this with the help of this report, then you can go to output folder and then start the file or run the file rdhstart.html. Okay, this will be open in your browser. Okay, and then it will give you a lot of information about your domain. As you can see on the left hand side, there are a lot of parameters with respect to your domain operating systems. Okay, for example, you have a system information. You want to see the performance of your system. You can click on the performance. There you will see uh, the number of processes that we are running on your system when you had generated the RDA report. Apart from that, you have a lot of WebLogic server tabs as well. That you can you can click on the WebLogic server tab and then you can click on the different servers, admin server, manage servers, and then it will give you the complete information about your domain what are the different configuration files what are the different configurations the logs and everything it will be captured by this particular tool the patch information 
okay and the network information system information profile information performance information everything will be captured by this tool so that that you can explore by your own once you will generate this rda report okay so similarly as i said you have a uh, you can run this tool for different other middleware products as well for example if you wanted to run this for soa then you have a uh, different versions of soa 11 g 12 c and for that the profile names are given in the red okay an example if you wanted to run for oid then these are the profile names for your oid for 12c 10g and 11g version okay so as i have explained you in the previous screen that if you wanted to see the particular profile name then you have a specific command for that one you can run that and then you can see the particular product for which, which you wanted to run the rda report what is the corresponding profile and then you can run with the help of this particular command thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for a few more videos